Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how I see where the cryptocurrency market is going and what we're going to be seeing in terms of all coin season, cryptocurrency season. You know, are we going to have a Bitcoin bull run or is it going to be more towards, um, you know, an altcoin bull run? So coming up next. So I just wanted to kind of update everyone what's going on on and around with Bitcoin and etc. So so as we know, you know, as as other altcoins go up, you know, pr the primary driver of that is Bitcoin, right? The correlation between Bitcoin and all these other altcoins are in the high 90s, you know, whether it's 95 percent, 97 percent, 98 percent. So when you see Bitcoin rise, you see all the other altcoins like a lot of you um, people who are watching from my channel, VeChain, right? So, you know, as you see Bitcoin rise, you see you see VeChain rise. I think there's like a 97% correlation with that. Anyways, I want to get into this piece of news. And it's very interesting because when I look at, you know, these pieces of news, you know, here, a uh, number of Bitcoins on a crypto exchange hits 18-month low, Google partnering with Theta. So I'll get into uh, this first piece of news, which is uh, Bitwage rolls out Bitcoin 401k plan with help from uh, Gemini. So this is very interesting because when you look at all this stuff of what's going on, right, in 2016 2017 or even 2012 if you wanted to buy like one bitcoin you probably needed to give money to someone who was actually doing it and you probably wanted to have like no involvement because it was so difficult to invest into bitcoin in 2012 2013 2014 it was very hard there was like hardly any exchanges even in 2017 there weren't that many exchanges 2017 i think that's when binance came out and even like their interface wasn't as great and as you've seen, like if, if you were in, you know, cryptocurrencies in 2016, you've seen the adoption, like just drive up so much like other websites, other exchanges, other countries, you know, especially other countries adopting it, you know, even like financial financial institutions, you know, saying it should be like one one percent of your portfolio, et cetera. Right. So much like money has gone into the cryptocurrency space. And when you read articles like this, like now we're talking about like Bitcoin 401k pension in the US. So basically what it's, it's saying like employers struggle to meet the conditions set by the US government's loan program may find salvation in unlikely place. A new Bitcoin 401k plan from Bitwage. So I'm not gonna read the whole article, but it says, you know, this gives companies an opportunity to provide matching or profit sharing contributions to employee for 1k because there are a lot of people in the US in certain parts of the states that can't buy Bitcoin or that want to buy Bitcoin but it's very challenging so you know this is I think a great stepping stone you know going forward because you know if Bitwage is doing this I'm sure a lot more people are want to get interested in, in seeing you know possible like you know a, Bit a Bitcoin or something that's involved with Bitcoin in their 401k because we all know that like the feds you know they keep printing money fiat like the value of your currency especially like in the country of lebanon you know the value of their fiat and their currency dropped like 50 percent right and a lot of people are looking at what's going on with this whole pandemic and, and the feds you know printing trillions of dollars you know just keep pressing the print button the print button the print button so you know looking at this and adding you know a 401k bitcoin into their portfolio is a great option right you know it's it, anyone's risk in what they want to do with it but i think it's a great stepping stone in terms of getting global and mass adoption for for bitcoin because you know as as more and more people get into bitcoin or you know the retail investors who aren't familiar with bitcoin adding this part is great because for us people who are more bullish on the altcoins and not so much on bitcoin it's great for example like a lot of my community is or a lot of the people who watch on my channel are are involved with vchain they invest heavily into vchain and that's great because like i said like when they look at bitcoin like you know to get one bitcoin what are you gonna have to pay now you're gonna have to pay around ten thousand dollars a lot of people are saying well i don't want to own like just 0.01 of a bitcoin i don't want to own a full bitcoin but then again it's ten thousand dollars where on the flip side you could probably bag like one million or two million um vet vchain tokens right so anyways, I'll, I'll leave the link to this. Uh, it's a great article. You know, it just talks about like the Bitcoin 401k plan. It's collaborative with three other firms. So Crypto Exchange Gemini, the custodian service Kingdom Trust, and, a, and as well as an established pension provider. So I'll get on to the next piece of news. Um, actually, I'll save this. So here's another great piece of news. So everyone knows Google, right? So 
here in this news from Coindesk, it says Google signs on network validator for blockchain video network theta. So here's another piece of news, and, and I think it's just great global adoption, mass adoption. As more of these large enterprises, well-known large, like, you know, Google's probably one of the large enterprises out there, right? As these large enterprises start working with, you know, cryptocurrency companies slash blockchain companies, they're starting to get that global adoption and education where, okay, well, there's cryptocurrency and blockchain, right? So now, you know, we're going to have to, like, blockchain is just going to be, like, how the internet was, right? In, in 2000, like, not that many people were like, oh, internet, email, how, how do you do that? Right now, it's going to be blockchain is just going to be that kind of normal use case acronym term that's going to be widely used like in a couple of years, blockchain. So this is great. And when I see articles like this in network data, working with Google. So in summary on this article, it says Google is teaming up with Theta Labs in movement to help the video delivery network onboard users through Google Cloud. So I'm going to leave a link to, to this below and I'm going to get on to this next piece of article. And this is uh, probably like one of the one of my favorite articles for today um, because I'm not, I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. You guys know that uh, my biggest bag is, is VeChain, right? But uh, I am pretty bullish on, on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, the reason why I like Bitcoin is because of just the supply and demand and what's available out there, 21 million, maybe like 3 million left. But anyway, so this article, to sum this up on Coindesk, it says the number of Bitcoins on crypto exchanges hit an, uh, an 18 month low. So the total number of Bitcoins held in cryptocurrency exchange wallets dropped to an 18 month low to just above 2.3 million on Monday, according to Glassnow. So the declines marks an 11% year to date reduction in the number of Bitcoins held by exchanges. So in this article, what it's saying is just more and more people are accumulating Bitcoin, having more hodlers and long term, uh, long term holders, right? There's no more like, you know, buying and selling very quick, you know, as a supply and demand. And, you know, knowing that Bitcoin is only like 21 million in 2017 and last in the last bull run, people were saying, oh, well, maybe that's just a pump and dump and, and Bitcoin's going to go go off forever. But as we see as like global and mass adoption and financial institutions are saying, well, you know, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency should be at least like one, one to two percent of your portfolio. But a lot of them are referring to Bitcoin because they really talk about that supply and demand and that store of value and that digital gold. But the great thing I like about this, guys, is like, you know, for my VeChain fan, like I said, like Bitcoin is going to be 10, 12, 15,000, 20,000. You think in, in a couple of years, you know, when blockchain technology or an enterprise blockchain technology comes to like mass adoption, people aren't going to want to buy like a $15,000 Bitcoin, right? What are they going to look? We're going to have an altcoin, you know, altcoin bull run, right? And that's why th this is kind of like exciting times you know, that we're in. Because the way I think is like, I hope Bitcoin gets to like 20K because all these other altcoins they're going to buy, whether it's Ethereum, hopefully Ethereum is not that much, but I do see Ethereum kind of getting to where Bitcoin was, like maybe like in the 8,000, 10,000, like it wouldn't surprise me if I saw Ethereum like 10,000, like next year, right? Without a doubt, right? So what are they gonna do? They're gonna look at other altcoins that have great use cases. You know, more people are gonna educate people, like how I educate people on my channel about VeChain, not that it's just only a cryptocurrency, but it's actually a real business that pr pr provides real blockchain enterprise solutions. Right. So anyways, I'm going to leave this link below for this. And it just to summarize, it, it just says, you know, the amount of addresses people are hodling, people are holding and, and it's kind of making Bitcoin more scarce and everything. Yeah. So I'll leave this link below. And, you know, at the last piece here, it says, regardless of the reason, a consistent decline in the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges implies a strong level of confidence from the holder base. So roughly 60 percent of the issued Bitcoin supply hasn't moved in over 12 months. So that's great, you know, if you hold Bitcoin. And I think it's just great for the overall cryptocurrency world. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked the end of the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Also, I do have a Telegram group. We have about 50 members right now. We talk a lot about um, cryptocurrency, passive income, real estate, entrepreneurship, kind of like general money talk, but a lot of it is, you know, how to's in cryptocurrency, whether it's VeChain, uh, Vthor, wallets etc or how to buy you know if you're in a certain state so anyways please join the group and please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video